Greetings folks, welcome to another video. This is Fuzz here, your host for today, as usual. And some exciting news for those of you who have ever wanted to play your PlayStation 4 games on your iOS device, such as an iPhone or iPad. Well, today your dreams come true because this is now possible. Remote play has now been enabled on the aforementioned iOS devices with the latest update that's just been released, that's 6.50 for PS4. So we're going to go ahead today and dabble through this, see if we can get it working and what the results are going to be. So I've just gone ahead here and uh, selected the patch or the update, we've downloaded it and I think I just need to go ahead and install it here. So I'm going to do that and I'll see you on the other side. Let's see if this works. Right, so I've moved over to the external camera here so I can try and capture the monitor display and the phone display all at the same time. We'll see how this works. I'm not normally used to doing things this way, so apologies if it's all a bit messy. But I've gone ahead and installed the PS4 update. So that's the 6.5 update. And I'm just going to go ahead here and download the app. Or I have downloaded the app, I should say, onto my phone. It's called PS4 Remote Play. Just type that into the App Store, either on your iPad or your iPhone or whatever the case may be and you'll be able to get that no problems. And from the PS4 menu, what I'm doing is just heading over to the Remote Play menu from Settings, and then choosing Add Device. And that's going to give you a five minute timer along with uh, eight digits on the screen. That's what we need to input into the app in order to set this thing up. So I'll just bring my phone up to the camera here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we'll just click Start. What I'm going to do then is hit the Register Manually button at the bottom right hand screen of the device. So you can do this through the internet but I wasn't actually having any luck with that so I'd rather just do it manually. We have got those digits up on the monitor there which is exactly what we need. So it's going to ask for those eight digits. I'm going to input them and then that should pretty much be everything we need to do to go ahead and get connected. So we'll select register here. You might have to input your PlayStation ID and password as well. Though you don't need the paid version of the PlayStation Live in order to go ahead and use Remote Play. I'm, a, I'm only currently using the free account uh, for PlayStation and it's working fine. And there we have it. So once you first set this up, you'll just go through the brief tutorial. And then you'll get full reign of the uh, PlayStation 4 on your remote device. And as you can see you get a software emulated version of the controller as an actual touchpad on the screen of the device that you're uh, running as the remote play. So it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, especially when playing games I'd imagine. What I would like to know, I'm not sure if you can or not, uh, is see if you can continue to use the PS4 controller whilst also using the remote play function. I'm not sure if it's possible, for me personally, the uh, actual controller turns itself off. If I try and turn the controller back on, then the remote play disconnects. But I'd love to be able to sit in bed, say on my iPad, and play a PS4 game streaming from the PS4 to the iPad, but whilst not having to use these dodgy touch controls. So <laughs> I would like to try and figure that out myself. Uh, but as you can see, Kingdom Hearts 3 is running here. And I've got to say, it seems fairly lag free, though I do actually have both devices connected on the same network. So I need to do some more testing to see whether it's going to be lag free or close to lag free if I have the PS4 and the remote device connected on separate networks. For example, uh, that's going to be relevant to you if you're travelling or out and about. But from what I can see so far, it's a pretty nifty function. I have used remote play before for various reasons while streaming to the PC from the PS4. Uh, but I've got to say this is working very well here to my iPhone. But folks, what do you think of the remote play here? I mean, it's going to take, as I say, a little bit getting used to uh, with these touch controls. <laughs> Controlling saw here is a bit of a nightmare. But I've never really been into mobile gaming myself, so I generally suck at that anyway. Uh, but yeah, please do share your thoughts in the comments section below. Is this a feature you're going to be using of the latest update on PS4? Or is it just a gimmick that you think you'll never really touch? But hey, either way, it's pretty cool, isn't it? That we can now have the option to use this. And it is completely free, of course. But if you have any issues or questions that you want to talk about regarding this new feature, please do share them in the comments section below. And I'll do my best to help you. Or if I don't see your messages, then perhaps somebody else would kindly address those issues for you. Well, folks, I'm just going to play a little bit of Kingdom Hearts 3 here. And I'm going to leave you alone now, so thanks for stopping by, watching the video today. I hope you've enjoyed, hope it's been helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. 
and do come back and check out some more content on the channel in the future. Until then, folks, take care. Have a great day.